What's up, everybody? Tinker here, uh, bringing you another episode of Meta Minecraft. First things first, um, I gotta get rid of all of this water so that I can build a kind of basic uh, farm for some sugarcane, melon, and pumpkin. Uh, this will be done in my actual Let's Play world, and then I will be putting together a little tutorial if you wanted to make your own, which will include a timer to make the pistons function on complete, full, automatic. Uh, so let me go ahead and get the rest of this water taken care of, and I will be back with you in just a second for us to start. And we're back. Um, so first thing you need to do here, first thing I did is built a trough, you know, and a space of water for all of the items to flow down where they will hit a second trough and lead to a hopper that flows into a chest. Uh, Got to put some dirt in place. I like to uh, always, if I can, whenever I'm stacking it up, I always like to leave a space to be able to put the water in behind everything. So first layer, you don't need that back piece of water, but you do for upper floors. Uh, second thing was to finish all the redstone connecting the hopper or connecting the pistons up above and then start building the timer. It's a basic hopper timer. I believe it's Etho that came up with the first design. Um, I'll have all this in the tutorial as well as linking to Etho's design. Then once the hopper timer is in place, we can build a uh, redstone torch tower leading up to the pistons and all the redstone for that. And then we can actually give it a test. Uh, so kind of super fast forwarded here for you. But the next thing I did was actually work on all of the timing for it because we want to get the the timer to work on auto as well as it's going to be working on uh, on a timer so this timer is going to go every i think i set it up for three minutes and then it's actually going to repeat itself and then i put a push button in to force it to stop and and turn itself back on you know run the timer again uh, finish connecting redstone upstairs wherever it was needed finish setting up where the items are going to come out at and then that's basically it and we have the finished product a functioning item farm for sugarcane melon and pumpkins and this is only you know eight blocks long so i've got 16 sugarcane at two tall and then pumpkins uh, pumpkins and watermelon up on the top floor so if you had, if you like this at all, uh, I will put together a tutorial here soon as possible, and I will include a link to that as well, so that you guys can see the true step by step and everything. Um, just let me know what you guys think, and I will see about getting that tutorial made for you. I uh, hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit like please, and uh, subscribe if you want to see some more from the Meta Minecraft series, or any of the other stuff I got going on. Got a lot of different gameplay stuff on my channel. Uh, let me know what you think. I'd, I love to see comments and and uh, I'm, I'm I enjoy all of this stuff, so I can you know do a little bit of whatever based on what you guys like and what you want to see. So just let me know, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for sticking around. Bye.